There are about 50,000 species of mushrooms. Most are edible, about 2% are poisonous. Roughly 20 varieties are truly flavorful and maybe a handful are serious functional foods, otherwise known as medicinal mushrooms. Today we're on the hunt for Tremetis versicolor, otherwise known as turkey tail. Follow me. One of my favorite spots. Come on, let's go. I've had the privilege of being able to treat and manage the care of tens of thousands of patients over my chiropractic applied kinesiology career. Musculoskeletal, functional nutrition, exercise, lifestyle, etc. Essentially, Mother Nature's principles and a natural approach to wellness. Turkey tail. Whoa! What is. Nope. Looks a bit like this. False turkey tail, though. Let's keep going. Observation. People tend to view illness as something external, something from without, something we catch. Joe caught a cold. Mary got the flu. Now, surely we're challenged constantly by stresses from the outside. Heck, we live in a sea of microbes, literally trillions of microbes in, on, and around us at all times. Viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites and never-ending battle between our internal environment and everything in the external world. That's normal. That's life on this planet. It's the way it is. How is it then that Bill seems to be sick every flu season while his next desk co-worker, Mary, remains healthy as a horse all year long? Well, if we stop seeing illness as something separate and instead perhaps view it more as an imbalance, in our physical, emotional, chemical, energetic interrelationships with the world around us, the big milieu or the big melting pot that consists of diet and sleep and exercise and water and food and sunshine and oxygen, etc., then it might begin to make a little more sense. So let's not think of it as we catch the flu. But let's, let's consider as an imbalanced uh, system that, that sets the stage and, and makes the field fertile for an imbalance such that the flu virus can take hold. Remember, our physiology, our system, our bodies are in constant dynamic balance with the environment around us. Energetic, neurological, chemical, emotional, electrical. Trust me. Keep relatively good balance in these aspects of your life and your immune system will function beautifully. It will have almost no problem handling the seasonal flu and the colds that people keep coming down with. Remember, Mother Nature lays down the rules. We can bend them to a certain degree, but if we break them, it's awfully hard to recover. So people often ask me, Hey, Dr. J, what supplements do you take to stay healthy? See? Well, my supplementation varies through the year based on particular challenges that my body may be undergoing um, at a particular time. At some point, I may have some liver stress during the year because of foods I'm eating or perhaps uh, intestinal stress, something like that. And applied kinesiology testing tends to let me target those areas specifically. But one thing for sure, I never miss some combination of functional, healthful mushrooms. I usually bounce between reishi, turkey tail, cordyceps, lion's mane, sometimes chaga. And um, I feel that the synergy of the whole mixture of those catch little different um, effects in the body and that big picture um, supplementation is what I'm trying to get to keep my cells healthy and strong. So Dr. J, what do you think about the flu shot? I don't think about the flu shot. Did you get one? Yes, I'm all set. When did you have yours? Uh, about 50 years ago when I was 12. <laughs> so Dr. J, what yeah. do you think about this as an immune system booster? Oh, <laughs> great. Well, thanks for the question. Uh, 
you know, Mother Nature has been working on developing our strong immune systems for about 2 million years. Uh, we're sitting in it right now, fresh air, exercise, etc. I'm all set with the mask, but here you go. I found turkey tail around here just last week, and I know it's in this region. Yep, this is it. This, my friends, is turkey tail mushroom in the wild. You see the distinctive uh, rings of color? Does it not look like a turkey's tail? That's beautiful. Wow. Let's take a sample. This is amazing. What a specimen. I'm going to cut off a little chunk of turkey tail for you. Show you what it looks like. Now listen, I am no professional mycologist. I am no expert. I'm not eating this stuff. <laughs> Why? I don't want to take a chance, even though I'm pretty sure we've got here. But I can get phenomenal turkey tail, pure as the day is long, from two awesome companies that I like to deal with. One is Paul Stamitz's company called Host Defense. The second is a company called Real Mushrooms out of uh, British Columbia, Canada. Um, phenomenal. Those are the only two sources of uh, mushrooms that I feel comfortable with, in addition to Organo Company that makes a nice coffee with reishi. But turkey tail is what's known as a polypore mushroom. Uh, you'll notice a lots of mushrooms have what are looking like gills underneath. Um, polypores have very small holes or pores, and true turkey tail mushrooms have pores that are very small and very close together. I think three to eight per millimeter, something like that. So um, this is a really sort of a, a little bit of a cool fuzzy top and uh, the, the non-gill polypore underneath. This is absolutely a turkey tail and I would really not have a problem eating this if I needed to, but I don't. So I'll use my mushrooms from the aforementioned uh, sources. I want to talk about Paul Stamets for a second, who's a world-renowned mycologist. He did a great study that compared the healthfulness and the nutritional value of what's called the fruiting body of uh, mushrooms with the root structure known as mycelium. In the wilds of nature, picture time. Check it out. This is a typical mushroom. Right? Cap, stem, earth, right? What's under the earth? The sort of root system, amazing root system of mushrooms, which stretches sometimes literally hundreds of miles underneath the ground, is known as the mycelium. Now, this here, known as the fruiting body. Um, Paul Stamets did a great study that showed the combination of mycelium extract plus fruiting body of mushroom is far more potentiating of cancer immune support than either one alone. What do you say we pack up, get out of the woods, I'll review a couple of more quick studies on turkey tail with you, and we'll wrap this video up. Just on our way out today, this is unbelievable. It's called um, chicken of the woods. This mushroom grows to the size of uh, 10 to 12 inches in diameter. It's extremely edible supposedly tastes like chicken or meat and again um, this actually grows um, all over North America I think all over the world out of oak trees and hardwood trees and just for some perspective I'm gonna have Kay put her foot up on that tree look at the size of that thing beautiful unbelievable let's move on <laughs> Early fall in New England, 
My favorite apples, bar none, Macintosh. Oh. You know, in the East, mushrooms have always been prized. Only recently have they become objects of great curiosity here in the West. To the ancient Egyptians, the Chinese, certain mushrooms were associated with longevity, immortality, mystical healing powers. And I'd invite you to check out a few of my earlier videos on some other functional mushrooms. Today, of course, we're talking about turkey tail, otherwise known as Tremetus versicolor. Today, I searched PubMed for Tremetus versicolor, and it yielded 974 published studies. I'm going to link a few studies in the description for you, but for now, let's get a real quick overview of some of the highlights of turkey tail. So remember that diagram I whipped up on the trail for us of the mushroom and the mycelial root structure? That is one of the natural wonders of nature. Those thin filaments spread like a network, a big web under the earth, sometimes miles and miles, hundreds of miles of what's known as biomass. It's like an endless network of fiber optic filaments is the way I picture it. Paul Stamets notes that up to eight miles of filament or mycelium can spread like a network through one cubic inch of earth. Not surprisingly then, the mycelium is as much of a nutritional, immune boosting, cell blasting powerhouse as is the fruiting body itself. So as I say, there are hundreds of studies. You can look them up and spend all day doing it. Let me give you a, a final quick overview of the beauty of this mushroom. Um, and these are all research studies. There are known benefits, great antioxidant capacity, flavonoids, phenols, polysaccharides, immune boosting, anti-inflammatory. There are studies showing anti-cancer activity especially when used in conjunction with cancer-fighting drugs as well. A number of research studies have shown uh, great promise as a gut health supporter because of its action on the gut flora, the improvement in balance in the microbiome. So one quick side note as an applied kinesiologist with specialty in functional nutrition, um, I've spent the last four years diligently testing all kinds of brands and sources of functional mushrooms. I have to say that even the big name brands that we might see out there, in my practice anyway, haven't tested out wonderfully. Um, I've settled on three sources. Number one, in no particular order, Real Mushrooms, a company out of British Columbia. Phenomenal testing on patients and systems of all kinds. Number two, Paul Stamets's company, which is called Host Defense. Uh, we talked about Paul and his study on the mycelium earlier. Number three would be Organo, the Rishi mushroom infused uh, coffee that is also a British Columbia company. I love them all. I use Organo a little bit less than I used to because the prices have gone up and, and these have become my favorites. But I use them every day. And I actually look at coffee, to tell you the truth, as my mushroom delivery system. Honestly, I, I don't even see a reason to drink coffee without an inclusion of mushrooms, but that's just me. I have to say I've resisted making a coffee on camera today. You've seen it in some of my other videos and you can certainly refer to that, but it is getting around that time. Babe, time for coffee. Oh yeah, okay, gotta run. Yours in Vibrant Health. Catch you soon, Dr. J.